Okay, so we're hanging by the pool. Check out this thing. This looks like incredibly beautiful pool area. It's a bougie hotel for the next Bougie time. ass hotel. Bougie. We came up here to like have a quick drink. My hand is always gonna block the camera. Just get over it. So we came up here to have a quick drink and um, dip in the pool because it was kind of hot. And I think it's been like three hours. At least. Has it? We've been up here a while. But you just don't want to leave. Yeah. Exactly why? Why? So he wants to be on camera and then he does that. You lose your camera privileges when you do shit like that. So we have been up here for a couple of hours. We're speaking Vietnamese with our bartender. His name is Ling. Ling? Ling. He's great. And I've had five or six martinis, although I don't feel drunk, which tells me their drinks are not as strong as the US, because I'm usually pretty tipsy after like two martinis. So, um, yeah, but they taste delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My bourbon and coke feels really nice. How? I, I've drank plenty, like I feel pretty good. I feel really good. So Good. How do you feel? Say Leave a Viet comment. See it in say it in Vietnamese. Viet da bao bao. That's what that means. Ba Kong is how are you? Yeah. Um we have a few videos of our midday tea, or our high tea. Oh my god, that was the fanciest thing I've ever done. So bougie. Our room is adorable. This pool, like seriously, it feels like we're on vacation now. And we get three nights yeah. here. We get vacation finally. <laughs> finally, yeah. We worked our asses off, we biked the country, and now we are just like taking a little vacay. But I wanna show you something. Check this out. You see those gray skies? That shit is rolling in. <laughs> you see me rolling. They hate in. See how gray it is here? Yeah, we pondered going to the night market. That's not gonna happen. Again. Basically, since we got to Saigon, it's like boring. And Ashley and I are gonna move here to teach English. We might. Pondering it. Uh, please be pondering. It's gonna happen. Although. I really would only want to live in Galat because it's like high up in the mountain and so it's cool. Like, what, what do you say? 26 yeah. Celsius all yeah. year? Yeah, and it's clean. And it's clean. So nice. Yeah, I don't know. Talking about our options. We've learned so much Vietnamese and um, the locals are like super impressed at how much we've learned in such a short amount of time. And I think give us a couple more months and we'd be fluent. Well, maybe not Brad, maybe I would be. But. Yeah, I would. There's no fucking way. <laughs> no way. I know Spanish fluently, but like, yeah, it took me a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he wants to say something in Vietnamese, he's like, "What do? You, how do you say this?" Stop. To me. Stop. That's okay. That's okay. That's what I'm here for, baby. You got me. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm to our pool. Be jealous. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, love you. Bye.